stuff to do today, so let's get ready together. So grab a snack or grab your makeup brushes and let's get started. I actually physically made an effort to try to keep the use of pony effect in this video to an absolute minimum. So I only have two things in here, which is like completely unheard of for me. I know Mimi Box has been treating me really well with makeup, but um, I want to. It's almost. It's not as accessible as other makeup products are, you know, for you guys. So I'm gonna try to include things that are easier to access, and I still, you know, really enjoy uh, the Kill Cover Airwear. Oh, oh, too much. Highest, and, and I got the name wrong. The highest wear primer from Cleo. And also, um, I went shopping yesterday and bought some, a lot of new stuff that I really want to try on camera. So actually, no, it's only like this thing that, that's, that I bought yesterday that I'm going to try on camera. Sorry. Just a thin layer over the face because I feel like sometimes putting too much primer can ruin the makeup throughout the day. So. Then for foundation, I'm going to be mixing a uh, liquid foundation with a concealer. This is a little technique that I learned from Chat Home Academy, um, and I really like it. Except, it really causes the, the base to... What is it? To crease really quickly, so I need to make sure to set the powder because um, even though the coverage becomes very high, it's just like a little amount. and. Um, a little bit of concealer. Like that. Even though the coverage is much higher, it makes the makeup crease easier. So some hunty tried to come for me on Snapchat this week. Not Snapchat, on Instagram this weekend, and I'm sorry. You know, if you had seen what had happened, it was a complete absolute mess. And um, I'm gonna be using an elf sponge. I bought these elf sponges yesterday. It came in like this holiday set of three, and I tried it, and that's actually really, really good. I'm not gonna explain the whole situation again, but I'm gonna address something because I feel like people still are missing the point of the whole situation. I was not really upset by the fact that she didn't like the way my makeup like she said my makeup was okay but other than the lips she was just confused by the lips the thing that upset me the, the thing that actually upset me because on the app on my photo from the conversation i had you know quickly gotten over it and i moved on however i discovered that on her photo she she screenshotted our conversation and she posted it on her feed, and then her friend- Actually, I feel like the first girl had, didn't do that much. Like, she was alright. But I think it was her friend who tried to play the hero, tried to swoop in. She was like, you know, like, oh, you know, I came after you because you came after my friend. Girl, I did not fucking come after your friend. At what point did I come for her? I think the thing that made her think I was coming for her when I was like, you know, it's called concealer because I was doing like a gradient lip and I put concealer around the edges of my lips. And I think that part when I was like, it's concealer. After that point, I think she thought she could be like, she could try and save her friend and be like, you know, come for me. And be like, dude, just, just chill, she was kidding. But then this hunty wants to go on her friend's phone and be like, I got, I got it! Don't worry! No, you didn't. The fact that they want to be like, oh, it was just a joke though, Edward. You know that you can't read someone's tone through text, as you said yourself, on Snapchat. But they have the fucking audacity to be two-faced and talk about me as if I can't see it on some other, you know, photo. How are you gonna be fucking two-faced like that? That's what really pissed me off. Not how she didn't like my living. That, I was, I was over that real quick. So what I'm trying to say is, don't be fucking fake to me, expecting like I'm not gonna find out. Because I feel like a lot of people, the thing, the issue I was talking with my friend about is, I think the issue is that a lot of people think that, you know, us people that have like a following or whatever think that like we automatically like we lose like our humanity in a way and so they, th they think that um you know we never see any of this shit they can just talk about us and we'll be okay like that i don't know Blah. and these two girls were, were those bitches the ones you know the type of girls on the internet these days the, those angsty teen girls that are like uh daddy choke me uh, uh. that talking like all caps when they're like too fucking excited they're those bitches 
I've been having like really bad dark circles lately, so I'm gonna use this uh, corrector kind of concealer under my eyes. And then I'm setting lightly over the face using this Anna Sweet Powder that I that I got from a really really lovely subscriber. Sub subscriber. She went to like all my Korea meet and greets, um, and I'm using it on this. This is also something I bought yesterday. I really love this. Um, it's a blush brush, but I love the shape and like density of it for just regular powdering. Really, really like that concealer. I'm surprised I haven't used it in such a long time. Um, I think I'm really gonna get into it, especially now that it's winter and it's more on the moisturizing side. Next, I'm filling in my brows with classic at Dude House. Drawing Eyebrow Duo. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna keep it really quick and simple. I'm gonna slap on these two. Um, cream eyeshadows from Etude House. These are really, really pretty. They're um, like metallic eyeshadows, and they come in a bunch of really deep colors that would look really pretty for this time of year. And also, they're really long wearing, they don't crease or smudge or move around. Since lately, since my follower base has been, um, you know, increasing quite a bit, a lot of people, uh, it made me realize how much little, what am I trying to say? It makes me realize how little I've talked about my actual like life, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, because a lot of people don't know that I'm actually like Filipino American because I get lots of questions like that, which is, you know, which is totally fine. Um, I don't mind. I mean, why would I mind? But yeah, I was born. But yeah, my name is Edward Vila. Born in Guam. I was actually born in Guam because my father is in the, um, Navy, or he was in the Navy, I think he's in the Merchant Marine now, um, and so he was stationed in Guam, and my mom was very pregnant with me, and you know, so I, she had me while she was in Guam, immediately moved back to the Philippines, when I turned one year old, I moved right to California, That's, and then I grew up in California, I, I, I grew up there for seven years? When, right before my 8th birthday, my mom and, and, you know, father got a divorce and they, my mom married someone else and so he was in the army and that's when we started moving around a lot. I don't know. Being in the military, we moved around a lot and um, I, that's why I got the opportunity to live in Europe at some point. I lived in Germany for um, like 3 years, I think. About 3 years. Look, I know I have some, a lot of followers in Germany. Hello, guten tag. I'm sorry, but like where, where, I li where I was living, it was so boring. I lived in Kaiserslautern, K-Town. Not LA, K-Town, but Kaiserslautern. Um, it was so boring. But then again, I'm more of a city person, so I enjoy being in the city more. And like Kaiserslautern is like the middle of like nowhere, literally. But I've been to like more populated places in Germany and that was fun. Um, the city's so beautiful. Uh, I did, you know, enjoy visiting like the kind of, what is it, the more, you know, tradi seeing traditional things like the, um, around Christmas time, the little festivals and things. That's cute. But I guess just because of what, uh, when I was living there, I was like a teen and I was going through some like stuff, you know. I, I feel like any person at that age would be as like emotional as me. Oh my god, it was so, oh my god. I don't want to think about it because high school. I mean, I think I did pretty well. I wasn't too bad, but I was going through that phase where I was like, I don't know. I was being really like emotional, I guess. All right, now to actually use the palette I've been holding this whole time. So these three things actually came in a set, and I've had this like years ago, but I re didn't really like it because I felt like it was so greasy, but now I think they changed the formula because it's more, it's much, much thicker and more like concentrated. So even like that tiny dot here. Oh my god. Can you see that? Probably not. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my god, yes. And it's quite like thick so it's gonna really stick to the skin and not like rub off 
Um, and I think it's a beautiful base for like these powder highlighters. So um, I'm gonna try putting this cream on first. What is it called? It's like the face whip thing. Like, Oh my god, yes. Good fucking god. Ugh. Oh my god, did I just roll up my fucking concealer? Great. Now I'm just gonna add a mix of these two highlighters right here. Actually, let me just. These highlighters are super powdery, so um, that's one thing, but they're really, really pretty on the skin. Yes. Now for the main part of the look is the lips. Um, I'm gonna use the Pony Effect, oh shit, Stay Fit Matte Lip Color in Magnificent, I think this is called. Fantastic, sorry. I'm gonna start out by putting a light layer here. I'm blending it out with a brush. And then I'm putting a more concentrated amount in the center. And using the concealer I used earlier, I'm going to conceal the outer edges. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I kind of enjoyed that, just sitting down and talking, because a lot of these videos I've been doing lately are very like informative, so I have to like really think about what I'm saying, but this time it was pretty good. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, they're always down below. If you want to see what I'm up to outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. You can watch me get ready live on Africa TV. My schedule is down there below. And if you want to see me do other interesting beauty-related things, you can follow me on Beauty Beast. That'll be at the end card. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mwah.